Hello, welcome to my tech one. In this video, I'd like to compare Creality's uh, bed platforms on surfaces. And what I have here are the soft magnetic self adhesive platform, which arrives on Ender 5 Pro or Ender 3 Pro. It's flexible and it has a magnetic base, uh, so it is much easier to remove the uh, object from the surface after the printing. Uh, then I have here the carborundum glass, it's the textured glass which arrives now for example on Ender 3 V2 or even on a 7 D1. Uh, but this one is a little bit different, I thought they are equal but uh, no, uh, with this one I have a little bit uh, weaker uh, bed adhesion. So this is the carborundum glass on the 7 D1. Uh, this in the middle is some printer fix for better layer adhesion I had to use. And this is the glass for Ender 3 V2 and even the color is different and for the feeling I also can feel that it is different. So this one is better, uh, the printed object uh, uh, adhesion is much better on this surface compared to the, this one. It has a specification that uh, when it cools down it's much easier to remove the object. Uh, one side is textured, the other side is smooth. I will test of course only this one, the textured. And what I have here uh, also is the Creality's PEI sheet and this package is sent to me by Banggood for a review. This is also flexible and I have a lot of experience with the uh, PEI sheets on my uh, Prusa printer. Uh, I have smooth texture satin which is between these two and uh, I know that it is uh, less sensitive to distance between uh, the nozzle and the print surface. It's more reliable. Uh, of course, I had to clean it always with the isopropyl alcohol before every use. Uh, and that's, uh, I'm very happy that I got uh, this uh, print platform. Now, uh, what is the most important specifications uh, of this uh, surface? Is well, uh, I think it is the adhesion between printed objects, so we want it to be uh, stick to it until the printing is not finished. And not only because it will move, but uh, it we have good adhesion, then uh, we, we uh, don't have the warping of the corners and similar problems. Uh, how can I compare these three? Well, I have my test object, uh, you can see it here. The base surface is uh, 6 by 20 millimeters, and uh, I will use this uh, hanging scale and try to pull it to the side and measure uh, how much force uh, I need to remove the object from printing surface. Several things are very important with this uh, layer adhesion. One of them is using the materials, for example, glue stick or hairspray or something similar materials, but I don't want to use any of them. And uh, also it is important the, the printing temperature, but I will use the same G-code, so that will also be the same with uh, these three surfaces. And uh, I will clean them uh, as a proper alcohol. I have this in bottle. Uh, but also I have it in the spray and uh, I use this very rarely because it is uh, not good for environment but uh, if I want a really uh, good clean surface equally spread uh, the uh, material on the surface then I use this spray. And another thing which is very important for uh, uh, the adhesion between the layer and surface is the first layer, the distance between nozzle and the uh, top surface of the uh, bed and uh, I will place everything here on Ender uh, CV2 because I have here the CR touch which always measure the position from the top surface so independent of the material which is here uh, I will always have the same distance between nozzle and the top layer uh, top surface on the printing bed. Printing is finished, I keep the bed temperature on 60 degrees Celsius and uh, let's see how hard it is to remove the object.
and now the skirt. It's hard to start, but then it came down uh, quite easily. The next one will be soft magnetic self ad adhesive platform, which is on my Ender 5 Pro. But uh, I have to use uh, these clips because uh, these are designed for this uh, thicker glass. and printing using the same G-code. It's taking the zero from the surface, so the Z-offset is equal. This is why I don't like really this uh, material. Well, let's remove the skirt. And actually, adhesion of the skirt is not bad, so I will give you a second attempt. Well, this will be my second attempt. I hope now it will be finished without any problems. I raised the bed temperature by 5 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm done with this flexible plate. This was the first attempt, this one the second, so it's a little bit uh, bigger, but uh, if I would like to have a success with this print, in that case I will lower the uh, Z-offset, I will use a brim and maybe some adhesive on this uh, surface, but um, after two failed attempts uh, I, I give up, so I think I uh, get the point and uh, definitely uh, I really don't like this kind of uh, surface. And now let's see the PI sheet. First, let's see what's in the box. This is that uh, PI surface, and it's already on this magnetic base. So, theoretically, on this side, uh, it is the sticker, 3M sticker. I have to peel it off and uh, I have to glue it on this aluminium plate and then uh, I can place this uh, magnet, this steel with the PI sheet. The biggest difference between these two sheets, except the material on the top, is that the PI is on this steel plate and uh, soft magnetic uh, is uh, magnetic too. So this is magnetic and this is also magnetic. But to be honest, I feel that this PI sheet uh, sticks better to this magnet than this uh, magnetic soft sheet. Maybe because it is flexible. But this PI sheet I don't want to use on my industry V2 because this uh, texture glass works perfectly. Instead, uh, you saw how many problems I have uh, with this uh, soft magnetic set adhesive platform. So I want to replace this. But this is also magnetic and there is a magnet already installed on this one. So <laughs> it's done. Installing on the Ender 5 Pro it's uh, very easy because I don't have to replace this one. Of course if you are curious how to install uh, the magnetic uh, base on uh, aluminum plate uh, I will insert here a short video which uh, I use on my Kaiwo Tycoon. First step is to clean the aluminum with isopropyl alcohol 
and then start removing the sticker cover paper uh, in the first step approximately one inch and then it is very important uh, to start uh, correctly so take your time and uh, be sure that uh, you start uh, parallel and then use some not sharp object to press any error or bubbles below the sticker and continue with this until uh, you press uh, all the air and uh, completely remove the paper and the magnetic sheet is ready and I can place the PI sheet on this I, c I will place a link to exactly this part uh, down in the description I will take out this protection foil and I will use these clips And for this material it is very important to clean it with isopropyl alcohol before every print. And now let's remove the skirt. And for the filling it is very similar like removing the serve from textured glass, only here it was a little bit easier to start the removing. And I also want to try the PETG as the second most popular material. And I will use this silo filament dryer to keep it dry during the printing. Bad occasion people. Printing is finished and uh, I, want, I will set the bed temperature uh, to be the same. To some PI sheets the PETG may stick to good and to protect the PI layer using a glue stick is recommended not to have better adhesion but to, uh, as a separation agent. And now let's remove the skirt. And now back to texture glass. Let's keep the bed temperature.
And now removing of the skirt. It's a little bit harder to start, but then uh, it came out very easily, similar like uh, with the previous surfaces. Another conclusions. As you saw from the results, uh, this uh, soft magnetic uh, surface has the weakest adhesion between printed object and the surface, but it is a little bit outdated, so the Creality now is replacing this with a carb random glass on new uh, printers. And between these two, you saw in my experiment, the, this textured glass has a better adhesion to the object. Uh, but I noticed that this quality is not really constant. For example, on my Sermon D1, uh, this uh, carbon random glass don't have that kind of adhesion like this one on the V2. I'm not sure what is the reason, but uh, I noticed in the comments sometimes the viewers ask me what, what uh, adhesion material I'm using <laughs> on this uh, printer because it's even very visible on video that I had so good uh, adhesion. Well, with the PLA and PTG I don't use anything. Uh, with the ABS I'm using this uh, print fix, but probably the hairspray will also do or, or maybe the glue stick, uh, but that's it. Uh, those uh, premium printers like Prusaur or Warren, they are all designed with the PI sheet and with a reason because it is uh, more reliable, less sensitive to uh, distance between nozzle and uh, uh, surface. And uh, Creality is forcing their uh, carbon random glass on their new printers. I believe the reason is that uh, it is less sensitive to human errors. If you accidentally crash the nozzle into a print surface during the first bed leveling or maybe the bill touch failed and, and the nozzle hits the bed, uh, properly the glass will survive uh, until the PI would be damaged on that one spot. Uh, which is my favorite. Well, in this case, as I mentioned, the carbon random glass, but uh, the PI sheet is more reliable and it is much more easier removing the object after the printing. You will notice this uh, with some uh, objects which has a big uh, surface, <laughs> not this one, so this, this is actually extremely small uh, contact surface. But if you print something which use, I know, 100 by 100 millimeters, that's quite big surface area and it will be very hard to remove it from this uh, glass, even if it is text so they will cool down. Uh, with these flexible sheets it's much easier and safer. Uh, every second person I ask who uses the spatula for removing uh, the objects cut himself uh, because it's a very sharp tool. For this equipment used in this video, I will place an affiliate link down in the description. Affiliate links uh, means it doesn't cost you more, but uh, I will get some small uh, commission from the purchase if you want to support my channel. Uh, well, that was my experience with these surfaces. If you have some additional information, please leave me a comment. Uh, that will be it from my side. Thank you for watching and happy printing.